Dude, did you see my tire? Just woke up and uh, I got kind of lucky. Look. I left my window open all night. Just pulling up to a skate park on my route to Grand Prairie. Um, it's called Valley View. It's like this little town kind of on the highway. And uh, I looked up that they have a skate park and it looks actually pretty sweet so I figured I'd stop in and check it out. So I am traveling in the van to work for the next two weeks. But uh, every time I go up, I like to stop at skate parks. Don't really film it much, but uh, I don't know. Let me know if you like it. So the skate park features a uh, simple but really well built street section. All the rails have like cool designs of little animals, which is kind of neat. I always love when parks kind of add their own little flair to everything. Uh, as well as a pretty good mini ramp. Uh, the quarters are a little bit jank. Good for what it is. It's got a spine and I think it's a five foot ramp. It also has like a quarter extension as well as like a sub box. So we're gonna see what we can do here. Probably nothing too crazy, but we'll have some fun. That's a Canadian moose right there. I'm assuming this one is a bear, but it kind of looks like a fat dog. Yeah. I think we can get a stunt on this ledge ledge thing. Oh. She is sticky on that thing. Pretty sure my tire is on the ground here. Yeah, tire's literally on the ground. I'm gonna try to bunny hop, bar spin into the bank. Hardest part about this, now I gotta move the camera to get the, the other angle and do the trick again. It's kind of scary, not gonna lie. It is kind of windy here today. Doesn't really feel like it when we start riding, it kind of pushes against you. But what do you want? It's in Northern Alberta. Got this Jersey barrier and I can like almost get the foof like with a tail tap. So I'm gonna go for the foof right on the coping. Let's see how it goes. Oh, oh God. Yep. That's the one. Oh, to fakey or what? I landed it. It's scary, but I landed it. Okay. It's all in efforts to bring my blood sugars down. So I ate too much breakfast. Kind of have a decent mini ramp here. It is janky though. The quarters do kind of suck. The effort was there. I do love sub boxes, but this one's pretty far away, so the Fufanu might be scary. Ah! Oh gosh. Woo! So glad I did that first try. It was scary. Like that, I had to kind of push. Didn't really land how I wanted to, but I pulled through. I got it anyways, so I'm happy with that. It's very grippy here, which is nice. Too many parks these days have that graffiti coating. It just screws it all up. Goal here is to toothpick this quarter pipe. Oh my god! Ah! Oh my god, what's going on? Jeez! Ah! Yep. Took way too many tries. 
way too many. Like every try was good, but I think I was going way too fast each time. <laughs> Screwed it up. Holy, I'm tired. Oh God. It's not much more scary than going for a double peg and landing a Smith. And as you guys know, I love doing foot jam whips. However, foot jam whips are scary. But I think we'll get it on this quarter pipe here. Let's see how it goes. It wasn't perfect. Hopped around, kind of lose my balance. But I put way too much work in for that. So I don't want to do it again. You guys know I can do it. Oh. Yeah, I really wouldn't think that wind would affect me this much, but it's definitely a weird wind. It, it makes you feel like you have to push like every time I go that way over the spine. I feel like I'm pushing and then I land flat. I'm like, is the wind there or is it not there? Cause then when I hit the quarter, I land flat. Maybe I just, it's in my head today cause I haven't been riding in a couple days, but great day for it. Not bad for a Wednesday at 11 a.m. I kinda wanna do this more regularly where I ride these uh, lesser known skate parks, especially in Alberta. There's a ton of great skate parks in Alberta. Pump tracks and other great opportunities to ride your bike or skateboard or scooter or whatever you're into. And uh, I wanna showcase those things. So I'm trying to hold myself up to it. I used to do it a lot more. I wanna do it more now, it's hard. But I do have one trick that I wanna do, but I'm a little worried about. Don't know if I should do it here or over there. I've landed it before, landed it on the weekend, but I don't have pads on and my toe already hurts from foot jams and it's a foot jam trick. So comment below what you think it is before you watch it, see if you're right. I'm either gonna land it first try or it's gonna take me like 20 tries and maybe a broken bike or something, but let's hope not. So I picked this quarter because it's wide open. First try Friday on a Wednesday. Now this quarter's already giving me whack speed for the foot jam whip, so it might not work out. Oh my Oh! Dude, do you see my tire? I definitely don't think I have enough air in my tire. But I also don't have my big pump, so let's hope it doesn't break. Oh! You see the tire? The tire flattens. I might have to go get my pump out of the camper and pump this up. Can you even see me? Maybe a little bit. I've been trying to film more on my full frame camera than my GoPro. The quality is like 10 million times better. But it's like 10 million times more effort. So, air pump. Do, do, do. I don't know how this is gonna go with this freaking thing. Gotta get the camper one. First time I use this pump. I don't know how that's gonna affect the trick I'm trying to do, but we're about to find out. But it was bad, like you saw the, saw how much it was compressing. Like it was almost hitting the rim. And that's not like a trick where it's like all your pressure is on like a, the edge of the coping or whatever. It's like pretty spread open, so it shouldn't be like that. These things never go back together as good as they came out. Let's get this bread. Oh, I got a smudge. So now that I've got Keeps more air. Went from 40 to about 70 psi, which in Canadian units, I don't know what the heck's a kPa. Oh, ah. something about that trick is every time you land with your foot in the tire, your shin smokes your top tube. Every time you land, if you're not like landing good, your shin hits your top tube. Oh. I don't think I've ever done this trick without pads on, so. Come on. Ah. If I gotta do some hops, I don't care. 
Oh, I'm so far away. I need to be landing like right here. I'm landing two feet back from the coping. Ah, it hurts so much without pads. Such a wuss. Ow. Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna get it. All this build up down to nothing. So I'm gonna give it a couple more tries. If it doesn't work out, I can't always win. Come on. Does that count? Does that count? Does that count? I'm gonna count it. Because every time my legs hit my bike when I land, it hurts so much. It's not a good trick to do without pads. Anyways, I'm gonna take off out of this park. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment below what I said earlier. Remember that thing? Yeah, just follow along. Working my butt off, trying to get some videos out. Fortunately, life wins always, but we're gonna keep pushing.